Hello, yes, that's right. Title's a bit of a mouthful, so I won't repeat it. You need to disassociate yourself, Dr. David Duke, from Mark Collett. He's a hope not hate spy. That's right, yes, that's right, he is. You see, Collett got kicked out the BMP because of his stupid behaviour, right? He was warned by me to behave himself, but he didn't, because he's a pompous little shit who thinks he knows it all. And that's been his downfall, not listening. But anyway, he was kicked out the BMP. Then he spat his dummy out and went crying to hope, not hate. But anyway, he'd vanished and gone off the scene for a bit and then reappears right on the eve of the Vote Leave campaign, campaigning on behalf of the Vote Leave to leave the European Union. And who does he have at his side? This mysterious young girl called Eva. Yes, of course, it conjures up Eva Braun. Also, she's adorned with swastikas all over her chest. I'll leave the photos. Uh, various other tattoos all across her body, making her look rather strange and odd. Again, she was a... A woman that just appeared out the blue, no nationalist footprints or neo-Nazi one. No one knew where she'd appeared from. No one knows where she's gone. She's vanished as quick as she appeared. She has swastikas all over the chest and whatever. Now, if you want to believe that Mark Colette and his national action snitches and Eva Brun with her swastikas just appear on the eve of the Vote Leave campaign, then be my guest. He's a snitch for hope not hate. He was, uh, he appeared in the documentary last night, undercover inside Britain's uh, new, uh, new far right, that's right. Uh, he's in there talking about violence, he's being recorded again. He was part of Nick Lowe's production. He was part of the cast, he's part of it. He's also been embraced by all the snitch uh, police informer satellites, whether or not it's Red Ice Radio or Jez Turner's London Forum here in England. He's now uh, a sort of radio host with yourself on your website. I've left a link below where he's talking of late regarding Jewish chutzpah, is it, or something. He's also talking about whites and uh, they can then see there's a campaign against whiteness and white people. They don't, they're not bothered, Mark Collins, and you know they're not. Our people don't think racially conscious like that, or we'd have a mass movement. Now, they only think about their own personal circumstances. Yes, they don't like immigration, but they don't think about save the white race and I'm proud to be white. Only tiny, not even 1% even think like that, not even a percentage. Right, so again, he's pushing the nonsense, all the Jewish stuff. That's failed, and you know it's failed, Dr. David Duke. If it hasn't failed and it's been successful, attacking the Jews and save the white race, uh, other such uh, rhetoric, then show me, show me the mass movement anywhere in the world that pushes save the white race and get the Jews. You won't. That stuff doesn't work. But you see, Dr. David Duke, you got me suspicious about you now. See, when you were jailed in 2002, tax fraud, was it? Maybe you done a deal then for a lighter sentence. I don't know. And in 209 in the Czech Republic, you were arrested for Holocaust denial and let go. Unlike David Irving, you went to jail. But then, I don't know, you may have just been a lucky bugger. But your association with Mark Collett is highly suspicious, right? Of course it is, because he's a snitch for hope not hate, right? Now you're either very, very naive, which is highly unlikely, or you've rolled yourself and you're now a double act. I don't know. Please tell me, let me know. See, Mark Colette, after me calling a snitch and a hope not hate spy, has not once sent me an email, and that's not Mark Colette. He's a pompous little shit, like I've said, who thinks he knows it all. I'd have been inundated with abusive emails, but yeah, not one. And that's very, very telling. And also what's telling, like I've said, it's the way all the spies gravitate together. From the London Forum to Red Ice Radio. Now with Dr. David Duke. So, Dr. David Duke, you're in a bit of a dilemma here. You either acknowledge 
call us a spy and you bin him. Or you pretend he's not. Yes, pretend he's not. And suspicion will be on your head then as well. Did you roll in 202? Did you roll in 209? I don't know. Maybe you didn't. But your association with Mark Colette is highly suspicious because he's a snitch without a doubt. Okay, thank you.